Worldwide comedy. All of our operators are busy, so leave your name, number, and whatever. We'll call you back as soon as we can. Yeah, Doug. This is Jack at the Pacific Hotel. I'm missing a remote control for the TV in one of the rooms you guys used last week. Could you please check and see if anybody knows where it is? Worldwide comedy. Are you a comedian? <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me a joke. Basically, comedians don't really tell jokes. We do oh, routines. Come on, tell me a joke. Hey, when you go out to a comedy club, uh, nobody asks you to change their oil, do they? <laughs> All right, uh, you get back in your car, and you go out here to the uh, parking lot, and you take a right, uh -huh. and you go, um, six, seven, about nine, nine lights, and you take a left, and that's oak, and you go down the hill, and cross the bridge, and you get to this Y. You don't want that, you, you get left before you go there. You know where the old high school used to be? No, I'm from out of town, I don't know where anything used to be. Um, 700 block of pine? You ever notice when you're in your car looking for an address, you uh, turn down the sound so you can see better? Hi, is this uh, Worldwide Comedy? Yeah, come on in. Are you Doug? No, I'm Brock, the MC. Doug just went out for a minute. He'll be right back. I guess I better get going. Andy. Yeah. Hi, Doug Atkins. Uh, you just get here? Yeah. You have any trouble finding the place? No, it wasn't too bad. Look, there's a couple things I gotta do before we go. Uh, you want a beer or something? No, if you could just tell me where the club and the well, hotel are, I'll... They're not here. What do you mean, they're not here? The club that was here closed down. What? You're doing the Montana run. 
a night in Missoula, a night in Kalispell, no. up to Great Falls, no, I, and then a night in Butte. I, I was told this was five nights in Spokane. Well, the money's the same. Well, it's not the money. It's just that I don't do one-nighters. Maybe I can get you a little more money. No, that's not the problem. I, I, can I use your phone? Sure. I'll be right back. Yeah, is Matt there? Andy Miller. Sure. Hi. Uh, well, not real good, actually. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm at uh, Worldwide Comedy in Spokane. What, I'll tell you what, why not I let you ha talk to him? Hold on for a second. Hey, Doug? Yeah? Matt Williams. Matt, hi, Doug Atkins. How you doing? You know, no, no, it's hard. Sure. Hey, I saw that thing you did on cable, man. Yeah? Yeah, how'd you get on that? Oh, I submitted my tape, and I was uh, in L.A. when they were shooting at the improv. Huh. You'd like to know the guy to get a hold to get on that then. Yeah. Uh, could you give me his name? Sure. Oh, not now, man. I'm still waking up. <laughs> he said, uh, it's up to you. Jeez. I'm sure I told him I'm not going to be able to get anybody else. That... Come on. Please. Yeah, this little tour is a lot of fun, you know? Great. It's the uh, Green Ambassador down there. You know, actually, it'd be best if I took my own car. Oh, no, it's about 1,500 miles. <laughs> yeah, but I like to be able to get around on my own. Yeah, but, you know, it'd be hard for me to give you directions. I know all the shorts. It's a lot more fun when we all go together, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How's this thing running? Oh, great. You ought to know you've been sleeping. Only <laughs> when someone's on the couch. <laughs> What's going on? No, you just tighten up the U-Plug. This thing's safe? Oh, yeah, it runs like a bitch in heat. <laughs> So what's with the uh, hose and the extension cord? Oh, well, <laughs> technically the house is condemned, so uh, he gets water and power from the neighbors. Uh, all right, we're ready to roll. So uh, you're from San Francisco? The Bay Area. <laughs> you mean the gay area? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you? Me? Seattle. So, uh, what, you got in last night? Yeah, yeah. Doug booked me at this uh, private party with like 300 loggers. Yeah. <laughs> I went on right before the strippers. Rough crowd, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but the money was great and they had an open bar, so, uh, you know, couldn't pass that up. Build the grill. All right. The human power tool. Build the grill. The human power tool. I just gotta stop at the bank and pick up Charlie. Oh yeah, Charlie is the uh, the middle act. You know this song got me laid once. <laughs> That's great. Uh, could you bring that down a little? Okay. That's what she said, isn't it, Doug? Could you bring that down a little? <laughs> How far is it to Missoula? Well, it's about 220 miles. Actually, it's about 240 miles if you take the interstate. But we're going to be taking some back roads that I know. There's no traffic. There's no cops. And besides, that's where all the good food is. Yeah, of course, Doug's definition of the word food and other people's may vary. 
subject to change, not available where prohibited by law, and some restrictions may apply. You know, if you had just stayed in the first lane. I was trying to hurry. This is the same thing that happens to me in a grocery store. So we have nice accommodations? Oh yeah, oh yeah, real nice. Uh, nice people, good clubs. Yeah, wild women. <laughs> no thank you. Mr. Atkins? Yeah? Do you want this deposited to your account? No, just cash it please. Well, this is a two-party out-of-state check. I can deposit it, but I'll have to put a three-day hold on the funds. Um, can you tell me what my balance is, please? It's a dollar forty-two. Oh. Do you want me to deposit it? No, just send it back. Okay. I'll try to cash it somewhere along the way. But can you, like, lend me a little money yeah, for gas? I only got, like, six bucks on me, dude. Sorry. Um, could you loan me, like, 20 bucks uh, till tonight? We get paid in cash. I'll, I'll get it right back to you. Yeah. Story. Sure, what do you got? Um, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. I remember this shit. Stuff, sorry. That's okay, she's heard it before. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie. Hi, Andy Miller. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Doug. Hi. How you doing? I'm Brock. Fine, how are you? Shit! <laughs> and she said it before. Honey, that's not a very nice word. Well, are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, let's get going. Okay. You're a woman. Well, thank you. What a nice thing to say. You're a man, right? Well, yeah, I just Close. didn't know. Oh, cool. <laughs> Did you guys meet my father? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Quick, Bob, spell your name backwards. Uh, sorry, too late. But we do have some nice consolation prizes for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you met Lana. Yeah. Hi, Lana. I'm almost ready. I'll be back in one second. Okay. Bye-bye, sweetie. Oh, we ended up taking the bus up from Denver. <laughs> now there's a fine group of people to travel with. Now I know why they call it a bus terminal. I thought for sure we were gonna die. Oh, but I gotta tell you, we really racked up those frequent nauseous miles. Yeah, it's like when you get a soft drink and you get that ice cube stuck down the bottom, you know? Yeah. And instead of reaching in to get it out, like, like an idiot, you sit there and beat the shit out of your face <laughs> until it comes out. Right. It's like, I paid for this, I'm gonna get it, all right? I mean, it's mine. <laughs> You know what I do is, is I just try to find that last ice cube before I start drinking and eat it first. <laughs> hey. Uh, take some of these. What are they? Vitamin C. You can take these too. Natural organic mineral supplements. Whatever. Oh, you guys want some? No, thank you. Nah, that natural organic shit will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> this place has the best chicken wings in Idaho. You just ate 50 miles ago. I'll be right back. Leave this guy. For me, it's when you go into somebody's house and you're using their phone, and they've got that cup of, oh, like 18 pens sitting there, and only one works. <laughs> and only they know which one it is, All right? right? <laughs> Because when a pin runs out of ink, what do you do with it? I mean, you don't throw it away. That'd be too easy. So you just stick it back in the cup. So just to get even with them, uh -huh. I like to take the pin that works with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know Bud Brown? Oh, yeah. yeah. I had him here a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, you know, I had to send him on stage before the Midlack got there. And I didn't even think about it at the time, but you know he's legally blind. Yeah. And, uh, I had no way to signal him to let him know the act was here and for oh. him to get off. Oh, no. So finally, we had to stand by the side of the stage and throw ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Well, you know what I love is when he checks the time on stage. Most comics are pretty subtle about it. They can't. <laughs> but, bud, he goes, he goes, yeah, so you guys have been a great crowd tonight. <laughs> you ever seen that? <laughs> it's great. Yeah.
You got something I can shoot into? What? Something I'll shoot into. Yeah, I'll go check in the kitchen. Well, it's supposed to start at 8, but we hardly ever start on time. Well, what time do you think we're actually going to get there? I don't know. We should get there right around then. Yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, you want to get together after the show? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, we got separate rooms at the hotel. And if we don't, I'm sure I can get Doug to stay someplace else. Well, it'd be kind of nice if we could take a shower or, you know, at least spend a little time in the hotel before we go on. Mm. Well, we don't normally get to the uh, place we stay until after the show. I'm sorry, I gotta make a call. Thanks. You remember Tammy? The cow's girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's an animal. <laughs> We're getting together after the show tomorrow night. Oh, God. I hope you can walk the next day. <laughs> You know, we should fix him up with uh, Heidi. Heidi. Oh, yeah. She's got the biggest tits you can't believe. No, thank you. <laughs> hey, you know, you said something like that earlier. You're not gay or anything, are you? No, no, no. It's just that kind of thing gets a little old after a while. Okay, and here we go. Got a sandwich there. And another sandwich and pasta salad. That one's mine. There we go. Okay. Anything else I can get for you guys? No, we're fine. If we could just go ahead and get the check, please. Okay. Oh, some ketchup? Sure. John, this is my week with her. No. no. I know. I know, but you had her last week. Look, I know that, but this is my week, okay? Look, I don't really care, okay? If it's my week, then I decide where she's going to be. There's a storm. Ketchup? Oh, great. So, uh... Did you guys uh, say something earlier about uh, you guys are being stand-up comedians? Yeah, he and I and the uh, girl that's here with us. Yeah, really? Listen, I was wondering, how do you get into you know, doing something like that? It takes a lot of hard work, and you got to live in a town where you can work on your act. Yeah? Well, you know, because I've got a lot of, you know, every, all my friends, you know, they, excuse me, they, they tell me that I'm really funny all the time. Yeah, well, let me tell you, it takes a lot more than being funny for your friends. It takes a lot of dedication. Yeah? Well, hey, listen, you know, I, I kind of got this, uh, this, uh, Thing, idea I was kind of thinking about. You guys mind if I tell it to you? No. Sure. Okay, well, the other night I'm working in the, the restaurant right here, and uh, and we had some um, some referees come in, you know, like from a local high school basketball game or something. And you know how, you know, like they, they, they call their, you know, like the fouls and stuff like that? Well, I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny if they worked here, you know, and they called their orders back like that? You know, maybe something like a, like a glass of milk and, uh, you know, on the double, uh, you know, or like maybe a Caesar salad, you know, or uh, like a tossed salad with Thousand Island dressing, you know, and you just keep doing this over and over and over, you know, or maybe like, uh, like pancakes and sauces. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you, know, what do you, no, think? you know, actually, that's a very clever idea. Yeah, yeah well, it's pretty rough. I mean, uh, it's okay, but it needs a lot of work. Okay, that's $23.85. I just had a soft one. I had a pasta salad. I just got like six bucks. Right. Right. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, I gotta make a phone call. I'll be right back. Why didn't you do that while we were waiting? Well, I forgot. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Anything worth doing is worth doing right at the last minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to reach Pat Paulson. Yeah, this is Doug Atkins. You know, I've left a number of messages. Right on time, half an hour late. Sorry, we had a little car trouble. Yeah, let's get this one going. Okay, sure. Hi, Charlie McKnight. How you doing? Hi, Andy Miller. Nice of you to make it out here. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, we have a great show for you tonight. Uh, oh, first some announcements. Nachos are, are half price during the show, and we have special on well drinks till midnight. Is, how much are they, Scott? Two dollars. Two dollars on well drinks till midnight. Uh, please remember, oh, in advance, tip your waitresses, please, and then return them to their correct and upright position. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we have our headliner tonight, all the way from San Francisco. Guy's been on a lot of TV shows and other stuff like that, and uh, he's very funny. Uh, Andy Miller. Andy Miller. <laughs> and our middle act tonight is a woman. And, uh, yeah, she's, and she's really very funny.
everybody, uh, Charlie McKnight. Yeah. And now, please welcome to the stage your host and MC guy with six in a Boise laugh off, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brock Mason. Give him a hand. Brock Mason. Good looking crowd. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a great crowd. Thanks, Doug. The last time he was here, he walked out on a $42 bar tab. Yeah? I oh, will pay cash, okay? Look, I really didn't want him back here. He didn't do well the last time, and I'm taking his bar tab out of his money. Well, sure, that, that's fine. Um, it's just that I was stuck for an MC this week, and, and he was available, and uh, I got him. You know this stuff isn't very good for you. Oh, my God! Hi. What are you doing here? I live here. I saw in the paper you're going to be here. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're pretty good. Oh, thanks. You want to go do something after the show, huh? Oh, uh, I'm going over to Jeans. Mm. Hey, what'd you think of my act? I'm working on some new stuff, you know, that stuff about the roommates killing me. tab out of it. <laughs> no problem. You know, I think I can get Pat Paulson here in April. He's incredible. He does a two-hour show all by himself. What would that cost me? Depends on his schedule. If we can get him in an off week, yeah, decent crowd tonight. Yeah, this is this is a nice place. Hey, uh, I really kind of tired. Can we uh, go ahead and get back to the hotel? Well, we don't um, exactly have a, a hotel. What? Are you heading back to the tomb or you guys want to go party some, huh? The uh, tomb? You see, one of the nice things about this job is we get to stay right at the club owner's house. Wait a minute. Wait, you told me we had accommodations in every town. Well, it's really nice. It's cool. It's great, man. We got this bunk beds and there's a chaise lounge. There's a washer and a dryer yeah, right you know, there. I don't really care about a washer and dryer, okay? I, I mean, I want a room of my own with a shower, a phone, some privacy. You know, I, I'm not here for slumber parties. You could have the top bunk. Oh, great, great. Is there a motel around here somewhere? Yeah, but, but I can't pay for oh, it. Oh, fine, fine. I'll pay for it, all right? Do okay. we have rooms the rest of the way? Yeah, uh, here, let me give you. Is it walking distance? Yeah, it's right next door. I want to get my stuff out of your car, all right? Okay. 
Jeez, he's a little touchy, don't you think? I think he's got a right to be. I mean, I was under the impression we had motel rooms, too. What's the big deal? We have a great time no matter what. Hi. Hi. Hey, I really enjoyed you tonight. I thought you were great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was wondering if I could buy you a drink. Oh, that's really nice, but we've been on the road all day, and I'm kind of beat. Sure. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Uh, thanks again, though. You were really great. And, um, you were... You were good, too. All right. Yeah. So you, like, gonna go to bed right away? Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Well, you know, if you want to stick around and party a little bit, who knows, you might get lucky. Oh, really? Is Mel Gibson here? I really think she wants me, man. Huh, I don't think she's your type. What, are you crazy? I seen her checking out Big Wally. You just give me a couple more days. Although, I don't know, she did go home with that girlfriend of hers. Mm, no. Oh, come on, she's got a kid. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, uh, that Andy's pretty good, huh? Oh, come on, he's a dick. Besides, the man's anal. And he's not as good as people think he is. I mean, sure, he gets some good laughs, but his material's not that great. Come on. He got one of the best responses anybody's ever gotten in that room. That's an easy crowd, and you know it, Doug. Mm. I'm the one that got him going, anyway. That's true. You know, that National Geographic <laughs> bit I did killed him. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> that guy from the comedy show last night? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> hey, you were really funny. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I la really laughed a lot at your stuff. <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, you could do some really funny stuff about motels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some really funny stuff happens around here. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, some really funny stuff. <laughs> Well, like last month, we ran out of those little soaps you get in your room, right? So we had to borrow some from the Crescent Hotel. And they didn't have the right names on the label, right? <laughs> so the people didn't know where they were staying. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> you could do something really funny about that. Yeah. Well, maybe i work something in the act. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, Thanks a lot. <laughs> nice talking Take to you. Take it easy. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ten o'clock. Oh, we had to pick up Charlie. I had to tighten the U joint. So how far is it to Kalispell? About 200 miles. So that means we should get there about, what, three? No problem. Hey, 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 hey! What? Uh, you okay? Sure. That's a matter of opinion, I think. Hey, it's just the rules of the road, man. What? Uh, it's the comedy rules of the road. That's right. When you're driving like this, you see a hay truck, that's what you have to say. Hey, 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 hey. And then when you see a cow, you gotta moo like a cow. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's some. There's Where? some. <laughs> to do that. <laughs> yes, it's the law. That's right. <laughs> Moo <Ooh>, cows. <laughs> Wonderful. Ooh. What, do you think they can hear you? Well, what cows. difference does that make? Well, it's going to be a little confusing for them, wondering how a bunch of cows are able to afford to buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Hey, 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 I smell maple syrup. I smell maple syrup. Oh, you're just hungry, that's all. Hey, there's a place about 20 miles up here that has the best breakfast. Ten egg omelets. And? Yeah, and a humongous side of hash browns, and uh, you can't finish it. You can't even split it with somebody and finish it. <laughs> you know what? It's open all night, and they know me there. <laughs> so I get great service. Hey, I don't care if it's a restaurant or a rest stop or what, but I gotta stop soon. Oh, no problem. Sorry. It's just the way we girls are. still smell maple syrup, man. 
What's, there's some shit dripping from your vent here. Oh, <laughs> well, that just does that sometimes. It's just nothing to worry about. Smoke. Well, I got a pipe up here. No, if, uh, no, yeah. no, no. There's smoke coming out of the hood of the car. Oh, that's nothing to worry about. Antifreeze. Antifreeze. It's not maple syrup. It's antifreeze. I'm gonna go find the little comedian's room. Yeah, no hurry. I don't think we're gonna be going anywhere for a while. No problem. I've been through this a million times. You know, I was gonna get this fixed before we left, but you guys were in such a big hurry. Ow! Oh, shit! Hey, where's that pipe, man? Oh, this is great. Hey, Brock? Yeah. Would you get the water bottle for me out of the trunk? Sure. Power mechanic. Yeah. Done. Let's hit the road. Did you get it fixed? Oh, yeah, he's a power mechanic. Matter of proper maintenance. Yeah, just like women. Give them a lube and an oil change every so often. They're happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about buying something? <laughs> Actually, you know, I had been wondering what had happened to the world supply of decoupage. <laughs> yeah, I think they're hoarding it in case there's a shortage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say you can never have too much decoupage. This is amazing. John Wayne, Bruce Springsteen, Elvis Presley, and Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. The Duke, the boss, the king, and the other king. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, Doug. How are you? Hi, Dorothy. How you doing? Just fine. If I was any better, it'd be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Where you been the last couple of weeks? I missed you. Oh, we've been fishing. How's it going? All right. Hey, Brock, did you see the art gallery? Oh, yeah, I've been here before. I wouldn't buy any of it, though. Yeah, I know this place in Oregon where you can get it a lot cheaper. I'm gonna go make some phone calls. <laughs> Good idea. Mom, you'll be home in three days. Okay, sweetheart. No, no, no. It's, it's going to have to be at least 1500 bucks. That's the reason I took this gig. Yeah, so I could see you. Yeah, January will be good. Yeah, I can get you about, uh, about 100 bucks a night. Apalachicola, Florida. Oh, yeah, near Tallahassee. Well, yeah, just southwest of there. Yeah, on the coast. Well, how did you know that? You know I'm from around there. Oh, no, I, originally I'm from Indiana, and I used to have this, uh, giant map of the United States on the wall right next to my bed. Yeah. You know, and uh, my feet were down by Arizona, but my head was right by Florida, you know. So when I couldn't sleep, I had a good chance to get to know the area pretty well. <laughs> you see, I was thinking something like this. Um, guys, what is it with you washing your hands after you go to the bathroom? I mean, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't pee on my fingers, <laughs> you know. So I wash my hands before I go because I don't want to get it dirty. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> I know where it's been. Oh, that's great. Well, you know, that would go really good with the thing you do, the toilet paper thing. Oh, the toilet, out, toilet, yeah, the toilet oh, paper. Oh, man, that'll kill. Yeah, huh. great. Well, I've done a couple of local, you know, really stupid commercials, a uh, car deal or an appliance store. Yeah. Do those national ones really pay as much as they say? Well, yeah, it's pretty good money, you know. I'm, I guess I made about $20,000 or so off that one piece oh, of spot. God. And, uh, well, you know, of course it was a little, uh, uh, you know, it was a little humbling having uh, people see me as a pepperoni, but, uh... <laughs> shit! What? Cop! Oh, shit, man. You got anything I should eat? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on, I think... It's... Oh, it's a ski rack. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shit, man, you scared the hell out of me. There should be a law against keeping those on. Well, I was on a plane one time, and right before landing, the stewardess gets on the PA system and asks if anybody would like to be hit in the face with a pie. What? <laughs> Can you believe that? And so this guy, two rows behind me, raises his hand. So, sure enough, she runs down the aisle and nails him. What? That really happened. Oh, no, no, that was back when I was doing that bit about the endangered species restaurant. You remember? Yeah, the specialty of the house was the baby harp seal club sandwich, remember? Yeah. It was a great line. Anyway, there was this guy from Greenpeace in the audience, and uh, he was actually crying after the show. No. Can you believe Isn't that ironic, don't you think? I mean, crying at a comedy club? I mean, was there a sign out front that said, Tragedy Club? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, me too. Well, you know, the thing is, if you don't think it's funny, the audience is certainly not going to think so. You know, it's, it's just a matter of confidence as to whether... Uh, well, as to whether it's going to work or not. Well, yeah, that's exactly how that night went. I was confident that nothing was going to work, and nothing did. <laughs> well, there we go. Two ninety nine, all you can eat. Yeah, but Doug, the food's horrible. Yeah, but it's all you can eat. Two ninety nine? That's the regular price. Yeah, they're two ninety nine. Yeah, but see, this doesn't light up all the way on the zeros. Oh, it must be broken. So, how much would you sell it for? You still want it, even though it doesn't work? How much would you sell it for? I don't know, how about a buck? A buck? But for a watch that doesn't even light up all the way on the zeros? Well, then why do you want it? How about 50 cents? No, a dollar. It's less than half price. All right, I'll think it over. <laughs> How's it going? Well, oh, you know, you can get a giant for a quarter more. I don't want a giant. Yeah, 30 extra ounces for just a quarter. Well, all I need is 12 ounces. You can always save what's left over for later. <sighs> yeah, I, I want this size. That's all I want. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't have any place to keep what's left over. I, I, I realize I could probably uh, bathe in it if I got a giant, too, but uh, I'm not dirty right now. And, uh, and, and to be real honest with you, I, uh, I don't want to make that kind of a serious commitment to a soft drink. <laughs> I, I may just do something crazy like uh, buy another small uh, somewhere else when I'm thirsty again. Dollar fifteen. Thanks. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see where he went? He went to the bathroom. And then he just disappeared. Yeah, I checked the bathroom. He's not there. Yeah, I should have gotten a giant. How far away are we? About 80 miles. Yeah, so with Doug, that's what, about five hours? <laughs> <laughs> now here he comes. I had to pick up a couple of things. Yeah, you know, you're always having to pick up a couple of things. I, I'm, I'm really getting a little tired of waiting for you. Well, there was some stuff I didn't get to do well, before we left. You know, so, so that means we have to wait for you, is that it? I mean, you know, this whole trip was supposed to be about three hours. And we're still 80 miles away. It's been five hours. We've got plenty yeah, of time. You, you had to stop at the drugstore and get socks and, and buy jeans. You know, you have to stop at a friend's house and borrow tools. You have to uh, eat every half hour. You're working on your car. I mean, this is rude, you know? I mean, you should have done what you had to do before we left. I, this is my time you're wasting. Yeah, you know, I'd like a little time to do something that I'd like to do. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Let's get going, all right?
You know, I think you guys should just kiss and make up. What do you think? You know, I'm a pretty lonely guy. Yeah. I went back to the tomb last night and I uh, played Twister by myself. I'm a pretty sentimental guy, too. I don't know if you knew that, but... Uh, yeah, you know, most people come home from their high school prom and take that very first corsage and press it there in their yearbook. Well, I came home later that night and I uh, took that very first used condom and put it in my yearbook. Of course, I don't get a look at those pages anymore. But it's okay, because I uh, put it right in the valedictorian's face. Because <laughs> he was such a dick. So, what's going on in Cosmo? There's an article on how to perform castrations. So, I uh, guess you guys don't feel like talking then, huh? Hey, four rooms. Housekeeping, please. I'm everything a man could be. I'm anything you desire. I can open any lock on any door, baby. Mm -hmm. And step in the world on fire. Yeah, could I have a couple of bath towels? Talk to me. What exactly are you doing? 
I'm just trying to get lucky, so no, what? No, no, I don't mean that. I mean on stage. You're supposed to do about 15 minutes off the top. You did like 35. Oh, come on. And, and then in between acts, you were supposed to only do a couple of minutes. You did 15 or 20. I was blowing them away up there. What's the problem? No, no, no. Yeah, but that, that's not the point. I mean, then you burn out the crowd for everybody else. You know, you're not the only one doing a show here. It's hard to follow me, is that oh, it? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, you, you're drinking before the show. You drink... Excuse me. You're drinking during the show. I mean, you're very unprofessional. Hey, wait a second, okay? Hey, come, hey, over here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Jeez, it takes 15 minutes to get a drink around here. Well, if you'd stay in one place long enough. Two dollars, please. Oh, shit. Thanks. It takes 15 minutes to get a drink around this place, man. Maybe if you thought about tipping? Oh, oh, yeah, right. Mr. Professional, Mr. Class, I'm so glad you're here to help teach me how to act. Hi. You were really funny. Oh, thanks a lot. That's great. Uh, I gotta tell you, we, uh... We haven't been doing too well lately, and uh, well, my wife and I haven't been getting along real well, and my job, and I don't even know if I'm, if I'm gonna have one. Anyway, we, uh, we, we decided we'd come out and see your show. We haven't been out for a long time, and... Uh, That's great. And uh, I just wanted you to know that we, we laughed harder tonight than we've laughed in a long time. It just, uh, just made us feel so much better. We're, That's nice. We're, we're really doing a lot better. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Really. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Let me buy you a drink. Why don't you just give me the three bucks? <laughs> you guys did a really good job tonight. All right. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Take it thanks easy. Thanks for coming. So, you know, uh, my room's right next to yours. That's about as close as two rooms can get. <laughs> I, I'm off. Uh. I'll be sitting over with uh, Shelly and her brother, okay. so. All right. Let me know when you're ready to go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come here. Do you want to get in my pants? <laughs> Let's go. Well, you see, there's a problem. There's already one asshole in there. You gotta get out of here. How are you guys doing tonight, huh? What do we got, some kind of reverse Mormon thing going on here? <laughs> you know yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, I thought you sucked tonight. Whoa, take it easy there, fella. You know, I saw him checking out my bulge on stage. You want me, don't you? <laughs> hey, you get out of here right now or you history. This is comedy, man. Relax. We don't think you're funny. All right, all right. Yeah, fuck them if they can't take a joke. Well, you know, I had the week off and I was uh, in the area. Well, if the rest of the week is like tonight, it won't be too bad. <sighs> well, if I would have known this whole week was going to be like it's been, I would have just taken the week off. Oh, come on. Look, the money's not bad, and you gotta admit, these crowds are starved for comedy. Well, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Don't call us too early, though. We're gonna have a very late breakfast. <laughs> okay. Have fun. You think maybe he has a hormonal imbalance? This <laughs> <laughs> one you can use. This, uh, Pollock, a Jew, no, a priest. No, 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 no. I got a story for you guys. Yeah? I have this friend of mine who videotapes weddings. This is a joke. No, this is true. And he's got this tape of this real traditional kind of ceremony, right? Uh -huh. And um, right when it gets to the part where the minister asks the bride if she does or does not take so and so, this you know? Is a true story? This is true. Okay. She turns around to the congregation and she says, First of all, I'd like to thank my Aunt Sally and Uncle Jim for driving all the way up from Texas. And I'd like to thank my family for helping me put this wedding together, mm -hmm. and on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. And you can just kind of feel the tension in the room building, yeah, right? Yeah, almost like right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the climax, right? Ooh, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and she says, 
But most of all, I'd like to thank my maid of honor for sleeping with my fiance last night. <laughs> fuck you! And she storms out of the church. And you can see the bride's father going to kill oh, the groom. Is that the tape? Did you see that on the tape? Yes, for real? Oh, I swear to God. I'd like to get a copy of that. I gotta go to the bathroom. Me too. Oh yeah, all this talk about weddings got your peen in your pants, huh? No, 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 no. I was married once. I mean, it's just in that particular relationship, the phrase oral sex meant just talking about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry I jumped on you today. It's okay, you're not the first. It's just I don't enjoy spending the whole day in the car, you know? I have things I like to do. Well, see, I, I'm never at home. I spend all my time on the road, so there's stuff I gotta do. Well, if we could just get to where we're going and then you do your stuff, so we're not waiting around all the time. God, he's crazy. He almost what? got us killed. What, 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 who? That's Friend of George. Well, he's not exactly a friend. What? He almost killed us. What happened? Wait, what, what? I was, I was driving what? on the highway by the river, and he grabbed a it's wheel all, it's and started okay. swerving at us. This truck, and we drove off. No, it's okay. It's okay. Take care of me. Help with your car. Come with me. Come on. Where, where's Brock? Where's Brock? I don't know. He's outside somewhere. Get your ride back to the hotel. Oh, sure. <laughs> Where's your coat? Oh, oh what, are you helping me now? You yeah, were helping me? I'm helping yeah, you. Yeah, right. Well, fuck you. Don't help me, okay? I mean, you're such a hero. Such a hero. I mean, you're the big star, right? You're gonna help me, right? Oh, yeah. You got all the names. You got all the numbers. Ooh. Don't help me, man, okay? Okay, don't do me any favors. You know, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. You're not funny, you're an asshole! Come on, let's get going. Oh, what? What? Come on. You're gonna help me now, Joe? Shit. Come on. You know, you know something? I was gonna go see your mother last night, but I was a dollar short. Yeah. So I went to see your sister instead. Yeah, I'm really glad you came along, man, because I wanted to build an asshole and I needed a blueprint. Oh, all right, all right! Don't help me, man! Nobody can help me, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. you're doing fine on your own. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. Why don't, you, why don't you go help an old lady across the street or something, okay, man? I'm better looking than you, I'm funnier than you, I'm funnier than you! Yeah, it takes a little bit more than that. Oh, yeah? You can't tell me anything that I don't already know, okay? Because I've been doing this for eight years. Oh, yeah, eight yeah. years. Yeah, eight years. Eight years. Look at you. Look where you are. <laughs> I'm going to call you a cab, all right? Yeah, sticks and stones can...
place I was telling you about. Yeah. Ooh, they have the best coffee. To get it from, uh, uh, oh, it's Mountain Grown. And that's the richest kind. <laughs> Hey, Brock, would you like some coffee? Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, excuse me, do you have any uh, real milk? No, just powdered stuff. Oh, great. Hey, you think we should get some coffee for Brock? No, actually, I think he's dead. You know, somebody should go outside and put a mirror under his nose, see if he's still breathing. Yeah, there was a mirror under his nose all last night. I think that's why he's still asleep. What's the deal with this today? Oh, it's great. These college kids love comedy. Uh, you gotta wear clean, though. Um, no religious stuff or anything to do with God seems to really bother them. I mean, I'd stay away from political stuff, too. Oh, and no genital stuff, okay? <laughs> Hey, lady, you were funny last night. That's like the best laugh I had in months. <laughs> Was he at the show last night? Uh, yeah, I think so. So the woman calls the doctor back a week later. She says, Doc, I got hair all over my goddamn chest. And the doctor says, you got hair all over your chest? How far down does it go? And she says, down to my dick. And that's another thing I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> uh, I told him, you can't be I know, I, I told him. Uh, you're gonna love Andy. He's great. He's really funny and he's really clean. You're gonna love him. Andy Miller. What do you say? Put it together, huh? So, I'm here at Lewis College. Kind of a dream come true for me, I know. Actually, I used to go to school here. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I majored in uh, killing time until I uh, decide what I want to do with the rest of my life. Anybody else here majoring in that? <laughs> I told you it was good. Could, uh, could we take care of that check now? I kind of used to be a comic, but uh, I, I guess I'm also an agent. But I don't really like to use that word. Just, it seems so... Slimy? Like, how many agents does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I got one for you. This comic comes home, he's been on the road for a couple of weeks. He comes home, finds his house totally trashed. I mean, the curtains are ripped off the windows, the furniture's tipped over, his wife is strapped to the bed, her clothes are just ripped off. He says, honey, what happened? Who did this? And she goes, your agent. My agent was here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. There's this comic, and he's hanging out, it's late Friday night, he's hanging out in a bar, and, uh, uh, trolling for compliments, you know, and, and this woman walks up to him, beautiful, most beautiful woman he's ever seen in the world, and, and she says, I saw your show tonight, and I think you're the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I want to take you home and rip your clothes off and fuck your brains out. <laughs> and the comic says, did you see the first show or the second show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. These two comics are talking, and one says, I'm hungry. So how was that, Cows. that gig you did last night? Hey, come on. What? Will you guys let me finish this? Everybody else got to. Hey, come on. God, I'm stiff. My butt's asleep. Funny, your eyes are open. Oh. Got a little problem. Guys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, there's only two rooms. Well, we're going to need a couple more. Yeah, well, normally we only use two rooms and, and there's a quarter horse show in town and, and so they booked up all the rooms there's Look, two Doug I'm sorry I'm not asking for special treatment or anything but this is not what you said it was gonna be look this is my fault um, I, I tell you what since I was responsible you can share a room with me no, no wait wait a minute you know I, I really think she'd probably be more comfortable with me you know we can spend some time together get to know each other Which bed do you want? Uh, doesn't matter. 
You want to be closer to the window or uh, closer to the bathroom? Whatever. Did you want to shower first? Oh, I don't care. You want to be first? It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> oh, I can see this is going to be very difficult getting along with you. Hey, you just watch your step, buddy. <laughs> Beer's on ice, man. All right. Just in time. He's going to spin the wheel. Oh, great. Come on. Big money. 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 You want some coffee? Oh, it sounds great. If you're going to go grab some. Oh, it's already here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love good coffee. You know, you'd make someone a great wife. Can you bet? I love coffee, I love tea, I love the java java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. So uh, how did Karen Silver do here last week? You know, on stage or uh, in the motel? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, she wasn't crazy about having to share a room with Herbie. Why? Because he's a fat, disgusting pig? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand it either. Oh, God. Oh, Herbie comes up to her after the show, mm -hmm. and he says, you know, in that little voice of his, mm -hmm. Karen, how come you won't fuck me? You fuck all the other comedians. <laughs> so she says, Herbie, tell you what. You lose 50 pounds, I'll give you a night you'll never forget. <laughs> so Herbie says, <laughs> If I lost 50 pounds, I wouldn't have to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so then what exactly are you saying? It's 10.15. <laughs> there ain't no crowd, there ain't no show. Oh, great. I'll make it up to you guys. I swear I will. Let's do it anyway. What? Yeah, I'll do it. How about you, Charlie? What do you say? Let's put on a show, huh? Come on, best show in town. Let's go. Hey, if you want, I'll throw in the pizza, give you all the free beer you want. Cool, let's do it. I'll pass. Come on, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, pizza, beer, comedy. Party. Yeah, well, I don't do this for fun, Doug, OK? This is how I make a living. Come on. No, I'm going to just get out of here, go have something to eat, and get a good night's sleep. We've got an early start tomorrow. Oh, yeah. 8 o'clock, K95, the best in the West. 8 o'clock? Yeah, well, if we leave by 7.30, we can be there by 9, but we can't be any later than that. You want to go get something to eat or uh, stay here with a lobotomy squad? Brock Mason, human brassiere. <laughs> let's eat. Yeah. Come on, Doug, let's go do it. All right, bring on the pizza with mm -hmm. everything. You want anchovies? Everything. And a pitcher. You want pineapple? Everything. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Woo! Hey, anybody see the movie La Bamba? Yeah, I just saw it the other night for the first time, and I got to tell you, I was a little disappointed. Yeah, because it had the same ending as the Buddy Holly story. <laughs> How many country western singers does it take to change a light bulb? Four. One to change the bulb and three to sing about how much they miss the old one. <laughs> sing along, everybody. Just sit right back and hear a tale. A tale of a faithful trip. Come on. That started from this choppy port aboard a tiny ship. Clap along. The mate was a mighty set. Nice rhythm. Ship were brave and sure. You know, if you were Catholic, you'd be pregnant. Set up that a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour. The weather it was getting. Yeah, it's like everybody, everybody I know is divorced. Yeah. You know, the, the comics and the normal people. You know, especially the ones who were doing something else before they got married. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, you, you take this man and woman, you know, they, they get together, they get married, they, uh, you know, buy the house, they have nine to five jobs, they have kids, they go through the whole get thing. Get a dog. Right, the whole thing, you know. And then all of a sudden this guy's running around in, in all over the country. You know, putting goofy things on his head in bars. Yeah, not a pretty picture. <laughs> yeah, right. but it, it, so, so, I mean, this woman's got to be thinking to herself, you know, this is not the same man I married. <laughs> is this by any chance autobiographical? Well, you know, I don't put goofy things on my head. Uh, thank God. Yeah, and, and no kids. <laughs> but uh, other than that, mm, some similarities. <laughs> I was already doing comedy when I got married. He thought it was great, you know? Yeah. He loved it. The excitement, the glamour. Oh, yeah, the attention. The attention, yeah, the right. whole bit. Yeah. Until reality set in, you know? And then, I guess it was like he didn't think that I fit the image anymore of what a good mother and a good wife ought to be, yeah, right? Right. Yeah. 
He didn't like the fact that I had to go to work at night and then I had to leave town. Uh. Oh, plus, <laughs> I think it was a little tough on his ego because here I was going to work at night for half an hour making more money than he was. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, when, when we broke up, I thought it would be a relief not to have to deal with that negative influence anymore, yeah. you know? And in a way it was. But, well, I guess, you know, the thing is, if I was a normal person, right, mm -hmm. working a nine to five job, I would get up, I would take the kids to daycare, I would go to work, I would pick them up from daycare, right. and that's it, it works. That's just the way it is, yeah. Right. right. But that's not me, you know? I work nights. I go out of town. Yeah. My schedule changes all the time. Right. I, I, I mean, I can't even imagine what it would be like. I mean, I know how tough it is just being on the road, taking care of... I'm single. Yeah, uh, fine. Just taking care of normal business. Oh, I'm sorry, that's fine. I don't mean it. Just half a cup, please. Um, anyway, you know, I can't even imagine having kids, you know, because... <laughs> Why is it you can never get just half a cup? <laughs> I guess she's got nothing better to do, actually. <laughs> You know, I think the way they rate restaurants here is that they give them one star for every 10 feet of salad bar. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> they should use that. Act, well, you know, actually, you should see in San Francisco now. I mean, how tough it is to even figure out, you know, what your proper section is when you go into a yeah. restaurant. You, you go up to a maitre d' and it's like, uh, can I have a uh, table for two in the uh, non-smoking, heterosexual, carnivorous section, please? <laughs> it's, it's incredible, man. <laughs> Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. They're the modern Stone Age family. Everybody bump, bump from the town of Bedrock. They're a place right out of history. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Honey, I'm home. Oh my God, there's a man in my room. Oh, uh, excuse me, my love, but uh, I would like to thank you for a lovely, lovely dinner. Thank you, kind sir. My pleasure. Oh, uh, could I have the receipt? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Andy Miller in number 20. Uh, did I have any messages? What time did that come in? Okay, thank you very much. So which bed do you want? Which one do you want? I don't care, I'll take this one. Oh, that's the one I want. All right, I'll take this one. <laughs> well, that's the one I want. That's what I do best. I've never been touched like this. Didn't know it could feel this way. I've looked through my eyes to see what I've never seen. It's all so different now. I found you somehow. You're so perfect for me. Just a had to be This time is the first time It's never been like this before This time is the first time That you and I have been in
to doubts when you know it. You know it. No need to fear anymore when you feel it. You feel it. This time is the first time. It's never been like this before. This time is the first time. that kind of information. <laughs> What's the matter, babe? Didn't sleep too well? Should have stayed up and partied with us. We had a great time. Would you shut up? Must be that time of the month. be there tonight. You know, we sponsor the show. We've been getting great crowds. It was packed last week. K95, the best in the West, with Larry D in the morning zoo. <laughs> so how's it going, Mad Dog? Come on up here. Down, boy, down. Hey, now, we have some very special guests in the studio here with us. Uh, they're the comedians from Grandma's, right? And we'll talk to them here in just a couple of minutes, right after this. This Sunday, Sunday it's, it's the Monster, Monster Truck. Truck. All right, now, right after this, guys, what we're going to do, we'll do a little segment, then we got to do the top-of-the-hour newscast, okay? And we'll come back, we can spend a couple of minutes after that. Now, I'll introduce you, and then from that point, well, from that point, let's just swing it, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, also remember to mention that you're going to be at Grandma's tonight, the sponsor. And if you could, when I cue you, this is what I want you to do. I want you to yell out K95, the best in the West. Station manager loves that shit. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, now move over here to Mad Dog's mic. That's where we'll be. The Monster Truck. Be there. And after the weather coming up in about 10 minutes, we're going to be giving away two tickets to the Monster Trucks to the ninth color. Larry D. in the morning zoo here on National Tuba Day. And a little later on in the show, we'll have a couple of guys coming in here from the Blue Mountain Community College to play a little dueling tubas for us. What do you think of that, Mad Dog? <laughs> Shoot that dog! I'm telling you, because it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Hey, we have some uh, funny people in the studio from Grandma's. Uh, they'll be out there this week. Welcome into the show, Andy Miller, Charlie McKnight, Bill Russo, along with their producer, Doug Atkins. <laughs> wow, tough planning, huh? Tough, tough, tough. Hey, well, listen, guys. Great to see you here. But one thing first. I see uh, Charlie isn't a guy. Charlie's a blonde. Uh, Larry, uh, Bill Russo is next week. Brock Mason is this week. Brock Mason? Hmm. Uh, Brock, you've been in here before, haven't you? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, well, before we go any further, I want to talk to Blondie here. Blondie, come on up here. This is Charlie, and Charlie, you look more like, uh, 
Oh, I don't know, a Charo than a Charlie. Coochie coochie, Larry. Well, that's just great. Just great. Should be fun. It's tonight at 9 o'clock out at Grandma's. And we'll see you there. It's all sponsored by... K95. 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 Best in the West. Great. Great segment. All right, the next one's up in about 15 minutes, so relax. And uh, feel free. Anybody want a cup of joe? Thank you with a kiss, but I'm saving myself for marriage. Mm. Where do we go? Where are we? No, I ask you first. Uh, oh, just turn right here. It's the first house on the right. On the left. Oh, it's the red and white one. One more night. Yep. That doesn't look so great from the outside, but it's really a pretty nice place. Yeah. So, uh, you wanna have lunch later? I don't think I'm gonna be hungry. Did get the fridge fixed yet? No, the shower was working last week, though. Cool. Do you feel like talking? Not really. What's their problem today? I bet he nailed her. I'll get it. Uh, Midlack gets the first bedroom on the left. Headliner's room is the big one. Oof. Fridge still isn't working. Oh, but the freezer is. It's not ready. <sighs> hey, Doug! Yeah? There's no door! What? There's no door in this room! I don't understand. Headliner always gets a door. What? The headliner always gets a door. What a shithole. What a shithole. Hey, this is okay. So I guess this doesn't work, huh? <laughs> I guess not. Is there a payphone around anywhere? Yeah, there's a mall about three blocks that way. Uh, I'm going over there in a couple of minutes if you want to go. I'll just see you over there. Okay. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, I'll have a soup of taco, an order of Mex fries, and a medium Dr. Pepper. And I'll take a beef and bean burrito, a natural taco, and a large Coke. Okay, a super taco? Mm-hmm. And would you like Mex fries with that? Yes, please. Okay. So that's uh, taco and Mex fries. Uh, super taco, Mex fries, and a medium Dr. Pepper. Okay, um, anything to drink? <laughs> yeah, a medium Dr. Pepper. Okay. Uh, medium? Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, taco. A super taco, uh, Mex fries, and medium Dr. Pepper. Okay, that'll be 343. Okay. Do you have anything smaller? 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, fifty, four fifty. Five dollars. Thank you. Um, and your number's twenty-three. Thank you. Uh, can I help you? Oh, I think that's a question only you can answer. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Thanks, you. Good. Uh, I'd like this back by five. Oh, I'm sorry, but we couldn't have that here until Tuesday. But it says that you have well, a... we won't have another pickup until tomorrow morning. Yeah, but you see your sign says, um, one hour martinizing. Oh, that's not for shirts. Oh, it's not for shirts. What's it for? <laughs> you? <laughs> do you know, I've, I've seen that sign for years, and I've never found one dry cleaner who can actually do it. To tell you the truth, I really don't believe there's any such thing as one hour martinizing. Uh, martinizing? <laughs> what is martinizing? Well, you, you don't know, do you? <laughs> as far as that goes, who is Martin? And, and where is Martin? Does he have the day off? <laughs> I'd like to talk to him. Would you go get him for me, please? Martin? Martin, would you get out here, please? Martin? Would, would you please go get, go get him for me, will you please? Martin! You mind if I sit down? Yeah. Is that, yeah, you mind, or yeah, it's okay? Why won't you talk to me? So talk. All right, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> you were the one who wanted to talk. All right. Did you know there is no such thing as one-hour martinizing? You didn't know that? I thought everybody knew that. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, just a cup of coffee with cream, please. Coffee? Yeah. Cream or sugar? Just cream. Okay. Would you like any mixed fries with that? No, thank you. Go, and that'll be 59 cents. There you go. Uh, there's no cream in that. Oh, the cream's over by the condiments. Oh. Yeah. Your you. number's 32. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I know I may be way off base here, and, and mind you, I'm just guessing, but uh, you mad at me? I don't know. I mean, it's not like this has never happened before or anything. <laughs> it's just that you're somebody that I could really like. I like you too. I know. That's not what I mean. I mean, tomorrow we go back to Spokane. I pick up Lana, take her to her dad's, go back on the road. You go back to San Francisco, have a career. We exchange phone numbers. I've been through this before, hit and run. Well, it's not like I'm in the habit of just sleeping with anybody who comes along, you know. I know. I really do feel like you like me and that there is something. It's just that it's been this way for a long time and it's not getting any better. It's like I have this vision of myself, 55 years old, single, in Podunk, USA, going, so, how you people doing out there? Looks like a nice crowd tonight. Great! Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get off the pool table! So these are the funny guys, huh? Yeah, you remember I hope up. they're funny. You funny? Oh, yeah. I'm one funny bitch. <laughs> so you better be funnier than the comedians I had last week. So I got one hell of a crowd out there. So how's it going? Uh, I'm a bit nervous. Nothing to worry about. So who's up first? Me. You got anything you want me to say about you? Yeah. 
Come on. Hi. Uh, I'm Scotty Piper with K95, Best of the West. We got a great comedy show for you tonight here at Grandma's. But first, I've got two tickets to give away to the Monster Truck Show this weekend at the Speedway. They sound funny! Uh, we got comedians for that. Uh, first, I gotta give away these two tickets. Well, uh, let me introduce the first comedian. Okay, so our, our first comedian tonight, uh, he's been here before. Uh, uh, so here he is, uh, Brock, uh, Brock Mason. Here he is. So you guys ready to party? Don't worry, it's just the stage she's going through. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, I got, come on. How many hunters we got in the audience tonight? We got any hunters here? Right. Now, you know, I, I know that hunting is supposed to be a sport, but I don't understand it, you know, because how much of a sport can it be when you got a guy going after a little deer with, a, you know, a weapon that could say uh, down a 747? You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I think if hunters were really brave, they'd take on that little animal with a, a Swiss Army knife. Don't you think that'd be fair? No, I think hunters are basically all chicken shit. Are you with me on this? Come on, are you with me on... What are you doing? Who are you calling it chicken shit, you fuck face? Yeah, I tell but I tell you, if you get up again, I'm gonna have to kick the shit out of your whole table, you know? I'm kidding! I've seen this guy before. Is he any good? Okay, good. Mm. The bathrooms are right here. At least if I have to throw up, it's convenient. Oh, great. Now I'm getting flashed. Ladies, you missed it. Okay, so I'm a mom. Any other moms out there? Oh, honey, buy a fucking vowel, will you? Hey, show us your tits. <laughs> Uh, is there anything you could do about the crowd at all? Hey, these people are my regulars. They come here to have fun. Uh, uh, actually, no, actually, I would like to thank the young lady right down here in front, though, for wearing the short skirt with no underwear. Appreciate that. It's kind of Seriously, buy a round of drinks for this table here and, and put it on their tab for me. Will you put this, this one? <laughs> sure, right. You know, actually, I think those two syllable words are a little ambitious for you at this point in the evening, pal. No, how, no. However, those Sylvester Stallone speech lessons are really starting to pay off. <laughs> you suck! I suck? What are you, some kind of Nazi or something? Yeah, so what? Yeah. <laughs> what you're, actually, you're actually a Nazi, like a white supremacist? I'm proud of it, asshole. Oh, are you, I'm serious, are you a Nazi? Now, I know you're not a nigger, but are you a faggot or a Jew? Because I hate you, fuck. You know, um, if you don't, you know, actually, I just, I really would like to tell you that, that, in my opinion, that you're really one of the biggest pieces of shit walking to face, the face of the uh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, really, seriously, seriously, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, you are a
are a fucking asshole. All right, you are an incredible fucking asshole. I'm serious. For you. Okay, you know, wait a minute. If the, if the owner's listening, if the owner's, if you can, can you hear this at all? I don't remember your name, and to tell you the truth, I don't care. But if you can, uh, I want. Here, no. Here's the deal. No, shut up for a second, please. Here's the deal. This show is not going on with the two of us in this room. Either he's going out of here, or, or the show. You decide. Either, either he leaves right now, or I leave right now. So you decide. Take care. Thank you very much. Good night. Hey. This is a hundred short. Hey, your guys weren't very funny. Besides that, the show was short. You weren't supposed to be over till 11. You, you can't do that. I just did. Yeah? Well, I'm not bringing any more shows here then. Hey, fine. I'll hire my own fucking. That was my girlfriend who you said didn't have any underwear up there. You know that? Yeah. Hey, I'm just kidding. Hey, you were looking up her skirt, hey, weren't hey, you, Would bud? you just mellow out, pal? Huh? What the hey, fuck is this all about? You hey, 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 you know, I know there's a half full picture, man. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, come on, man, it's a freebie. You got the money? I'll give it to you in the car. Did you have any problem? No, I, I got it all. Hey, some people are having a party. Let's go, okay? They got a hot tub. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. You ever wonder why you do this? All the time. When I think of some of the clubs and the motels that I've had to stay in and work in, the dumps, if I wasn't working, I wouldn't uh, go in most of those places, even if somebody were paying me. But somebody is. You know what I mean. It's a crazy way to make a living. Yeah, a nice nine to five job sounds pretty good right now. If you had a nine to five job, this would sound pretty good. Not this week. <laughs> it's just like any other job. There's a positive side and there's a negative side. You know, there's things that you hate to do, but somebody's paying you, so you do them. <laughs> there's this guy I know, and he has this analogy about what a terrible job he has. And he says, the good part is that I get to sell dead puppies. Hmm. And the bad part is that they're alive when I get them. Hmm, <laughs> could be worse, huh? Mm, yeah. Oh, here we go again. God, it's cold in here. Yeah, there's a lock on the thermostat so the comics can't turn the heat up. Well, that's the one nice thing about Brock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Hi, how you doing? Fine. How are you? Great. You know, you guys aren't making much noise in there. Uh, we're just talking. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Going to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, come on. No, that's okay, I'll wait. Okay. Just be a minute. <laughs> nice talking to you. They were animals. You know, that was the worst gig I've ever had. Nah, it wasn't that bad. Oh, Brock, she's right. It was the worst ever. Well, I've had lots worse. I thought it was pretty good. What? Yeah, they really liked you. 
I, I mean, if, if they didn't like you, they wouldn't have been yelling stuff out at you. Oh. You know, then actually I would have preferred them hating us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The whole thing was like a bad movie. Oh, have you seen that new Krista McNichol movie? Uh-uh. Oh, it's great. She's my favorite actress. Yeah, Meryl Streep, Kathleen Turner, Christy McNichol. Yeah. Hey, you know, I saw where they had the Christy McNichol decoupage at the store we just had in Kalispell. I wish I'd have known. I I've been looking for one. Oh, if I knew, I would have picked it up for you for sure. That'd have been great. Next time, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, it's the next house up here on the right. It named that a cute car. I've been saving all my money up to get something like Hi Ho Silver. What? Hi Ho Silver, you know. The van that won the van show. <laughs> oh, that high ho silver. It's got these tripped out murals on the side. It's really cool. Oh, cool. sounds great. <laughs> yeah, great. yeah, right up here. Is the place? Right. Yeah. Nice house. Thanks. Yeah. I live with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Okay, bye. bye. Take care. Can you call next time around, okay? okay. All right. Bye. bye. You know, anytime you want to come back, just uh, give me a call. Thanks. It was an interesting week. <laughs> you did a great job. You, you really did. Oh, thank you, Doug. Bye. Bye. Uh, you know, I'm going to be in uh, Denver the first week of January. Maybe we could, uh, you know. Oh, I'm going to be in Texas all through January. <laughs> oh, I'll, uh, I'll give you a call. I know. I'll call you, too. See ya. Bye. You know, uh... uh actually, I, I was just thinking, I, I, uh... I, I don't really have to be in San Francisco for a couple of days. Um, you and Lana want to get together for dinner tonight? Well... I'll have to check my schedule, and uh, Lana will have to check her schedule, of course. But uh, I think we could work something out. Yeah. Hey, you know, anytime you want to come back, I can get you in. Yeah, well, my uh, my schedule's a little moved up right now. You're uh, you're not coming back, are you? Oh, 
see you. Hey, nice working with you, man. Yeah, nice working with you. Yeah. Hey, uh, just a second. What? Yeah, give some of those guys a call. You might get some work out of it. Oh, cool. I'll do that. Thanks. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Oh, 